On today's video, we're taking a look at how you can cast your Oculus Quest gameplay to your TV, and that starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to Camp VR, the show that explores the wonderful world of virtual reality. I am your host, Ryan Camp, and today we're taking a look at how you can cast your Oculus Quest gameplay to your TV and share your experiences within virtual reality with your friends and family. You know, virtual reality can kind of be an alienating experience as you're lost in your own little world with the headset on while playing. So I think it's very important for us to be able to share our experiences that we're having with our friends and family that might be in the room. Not only will casting your gameplay to a TV or tablet help make them feel like they're included in what's going on, but it may also help get them excited for what is possible with VR in the future. And we need a lot more people to be excited about this technology. You know, casting to your tablet or phone is great and all, but I think it's a much better group experience when you can cast it to your living room TV so everyone can see on the same screen. Now I have to say that this feature on the Oculus Quest is still in beta, and it has quite a ways to go before it's a flawless and easy to use experience, in my opinion. They really have a lot of bugs that they need to work out and some features that need to be implemented before this is an easy to use experience. But with all that said, this is such a great feature to have and I'm so happy that we have it. And once you figure out the ins and outs and get it working, the image quality is actually really great. At least it was for me anyway, but your experience may differ depending on your Wi-Fi network. Okay, let's get started and show you how this all works. I purchased the Google Chromecast version three for my setup. And while you can get the ultra version of Google Chromecast, I've read that you roughly get the same experience as far as the Oculus Quest casting goes with the ultra. And the version three is quite a bit cheaper at around $35. So for me, this was the only reason I was gonna be using the Chromecast. So I thought the cheaper version was the way to go. But if you're looking for the new hotness, you can spring for the Ultra. The choice is yours. Once you have your Chromecast plugged into the HDMI port on your TV and you have it plugged in and powered up, make sure to set your TV to the appropriate input for the Chromecast. Next, you're going to want to download the Google Home app from the App Store on your device. This is where you're going to finish setting up your Google Chromecast. You're going to eventually need to make sure that you have your TV, your Google app, your Chromecast device, your phone, and your Oculus headset all connected to the exact same Wi-Fi network. This is very important, but we can take care of it in steps. The first step when you pull up the Google Home app is to associate your Google account with the app. Then you will need to create a home setup within the app and connect your Google Chromecast device to that home setup. The app should automatically detect the Google Chromecast device if you have it properly plugged in and powered up. Next, the app is going to send you a code. Verify that this code is the same code that's showing up on your TV screen. You will then be asked to name a room that the device is set up in. For me, mine was set up in my bedroom, so that's how I named it. Now you will need to designate a Wi-Fi network that the device is going to primarily use. Please be sure to make this the same network that your headset and your phone are going to be using as well. Now your device should run through a few updates and get you up to speed with the latest software. Now at this moment, I have to say that I ran into some connectivity issues at this point, and I wasn't able to get them resolved until I restarted my phone, my Google Home app, and my Chromecast device. It finally resolved itself after I switched the Wi-Fi networks back and forth on each device. I'm not sure exactly what eventually got it working, but troubleshooting and those methods eventually did get it connected. Once the Chromecast device finally started playing nice with my Wi-Fi setup, it was time to try to cast for my Oculus Quest. Now most of this is done from within the headset, and I also ran into some issues here as well. With your Chromecast device running and set up on your TV and set to the proper input, put on your headset and go down to the sharing option within the menu. Here you will see the cast option. Once you click cast, you will see a prompt asking you if you want to begin casting to a phone by clicking start, or if you wanna to cast to a Google Chromecast device, you need to click the cast button within your Oculus app. I know this is not very clear and it does seem a bit redundant. It would be nice to be able to do this all from within the headset without having to pull out the app and fumble around with it as well. Within the Oculus app, when you're in the casting menu, you will see 
options for choosing the device that you're wanting to cast from and the devices that you're wanting to cast to. Be sure to pull up your Google Chromecast device. Here you can also set the quality of the cast as well. Here I kept running into issues with the app not wanting to connect to the headset. It seemed like every time that I lifted my headset up to look at the phone, the Oculus Quest thought that I was going to stop playing and it would somehow mess up the casting. I'm not sure exactly if that's what was happening, but it sure did seem that way. But as you can see, I eventually got everything up and running and after a few minutes, the image quality looked really great and smooth. Well, I'm sure you could tell that I had a few issues with this experience. It certainly wasn't easy as pie and Oculus definitely has some bugs and a few functionality issues that they need to work out with this option. They also claim to be working on allowing us to cast to TVs that have Google Chromecast built into them, which my TV in my living room does, but that uh, functionality isn't quite up and running yet, but that will be nice when they do get that running. Then you won't even need to buy a Google Chromecast dongle if your TV already has the functionality. So hopefully they're going to keep working on this functionality and hopefully things will tighten up and become a better experience once it gets out of beta testing. If you're looking to pick up the Google Chromecast version 3 or the Ultra version, I have put links to both of those in the description below. If you click on those links to buy those products, it's not going to cost you any extra, but you will be helping support this channel, so thank you very much. Okay, Q&A time. Have you tried casting with the Oculus Quest to a tablet or your TV? If so, what was your experience like? Let us know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and click that bell notification so you know when we post new videos. Thanks for exploring the wonderful world of virtual reality with me. I am Ryan and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.